What's up guys? Welcome to another video. This is episode 2 in the data and privacy protection, so personal identity, all that information. Uh, if you haven't seen episode 1, check right here, I'll have a link. Uh, in episode 1 we covered the transport and carry, basically being mobile, and we used a lot of products from Silent Pocket, which basically uh, prevents anyone from like skimming, scanning, uh, triangulating, getting any kind of data out of anything that you carry, uh, especially like at the airports and stuff like that. This part two is going to be a little bit more uh, concealing um, your privacy when it comes to like uh, when you're out in public, like at a coffee shop or you know, again traveling or anything like that. So let's take a look at a couple products uh, and then actually some software in this one. And we won't get too detailed with the software until the next video, but we're going to touch upon it. So the first item, so you're going to be out and about. I highly recommend getting some kind of sleeve that you can actually keep your laptop in. Now in this case I've got 12 South MacBook Pro Journal uh, that I have here. So this basically conceals my laptop. Um, no one knows what it is. And when I go to work, or get it out and try to go to work on it, if I open this up, as you can see here, my laptop stays concealed and covered. Now, I can see that it says MacBook Pro down here, but anyone around me can't really tell because all they're seeing is the back of the sleeve, or the journal in this case. And that kind of tips the case because if, if somebody's looking to hack, uh, just knowing that you're running a Windows or a MacBook or whatever already gives them some information to go on uh, when they're trying to see if they've got the right person in the room um, or just you know what type of attack they need to do because you know MacBook obviously runs kind of on a, a Unix based shell and Windows is well Windows uh, so there's different attack vectors so just if I had the big Apple logo on the back showing off then people would know hey there's a MacBook right there and that's what I need to target um, or if I'm the only MacBook in the room um, pretty well everyone knows who they're looking at okay so concealing your type of hardware is one phase of the game now the next thing is and I don't know if you can see but this is on okay so uh, and anyone that sits like behind me can look over my shoulder uh, and see whatever's on my screen. So, you know, if they take their phone and they zoom in, they might even be able to read account information, uh, you know, my Facebook profile name, whatever. You know, it's easy to do to spy on somebody just visually from in the room, just over my shoulder. Uh, so what I've installed here is a very, very kick butt uh, product from Akami or Akame. Uh, office products and you can see their website this is the premium MacBook Pro touch bar privacy screen so this is actually for the 15 inch uh, and it's made for the one that has touch bar that they do have ones out there uh, for other MacBooks and this has got to be the easiest installation some of the best privacy that I've seen and they have a lifetime guarantee so you can't go wrong with this guy so this is super easy to install I really really like this one uh, this doesn't stick on your screen or anything like that. It simply is magnetic, and all you got to do is peel it off like so. Look at that. Wow. Now watch. You can see my screen now. Uh-huh. Now, it's not very bright, but if I move my trackpad here and I log in, it'll be brighter. Now, I already have a screen protector on this. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit dirty from behind this, this guy, but... I already have a screen protector, but it doesn't have the privacy built in. So when this brightens up and I log into it, you can easily see over my uh, shoulder of what I've got going on. So again, this being super easy to install. All it does is magnetically go on your screen like so. And so you can remove it and put it on whenever you want. So now it's back on there, and now you really can't see. You're supposed to be able to see it pretty decently straight on, but if somebody's looking like, boom, it looks like it's off. Somebody can't see from the side at all. They have to be pretty close over my shoulder to be able to see what I'm seeing on the screen. So 
this guy really adds some privacy. And what I've actually done, um, and I showed you in the first transport and carry video that uh, there are stickers that you can get and put over your webcam. Well, I actually got something better. Let me pan up just a little bit. So I have this little doohickey here, and I actually picked this up at a conference, so it's not something you're going to be able to go out and buy my exact one, but you could probably find something similar on Amazon, and if I can find it, I'll link it in the show notes uh, down below. But this is a little slide to cover the webcam, and I actually just stuck this on this magnetic uh, privacy screen. So it comes off when I take this magnetic screen off. And I do have stickers I could just put on there. If I don't want to have the privacy screen on, I can just put a sticker on it and then take it off. So uh, I didn't want to just put this on my MacBook screen or on the screen protector that I had. I put it on this actual guy. So when I just want to close my webcam up, make sure no one's spying on me uh, behind the scenes that I don't know about, I just slide that little guy over. And now uh, I am completely protected from someone spying on my own webcam uh, at what I'm doing visually. So those are uh, some real great safeguards to protect your privacy. Now the next big thing, and this is where we'll kind of segue into episode three. I'm going to kind of give you a little teaser and then move on. So I'm going to go ahead and log in to my laptop. Let's see if it'll let me do my fingerprint. Nope. So let me go ahead, I'm going to pause this, logged in, we'll be right back. Alright, I've logged back in. Um, so what you see here is actually a VPN. And this is something that uh, I would highly recommend that you either set up at home or subscribe to a service. Now what we're going to do is feature private uh, VPN services. So uh, if you're not familiar with PII, PIA is what they actually go for, and that's, uh, um, as you can see here, the Private Internet Access Service. This is the VPN. So I'll, I'm going to deep dive into this service in the next video. Um, so you can definitely see by starting this VPN up, I'm going to protect, I'm going to encrypt everything that's going to go across the, my from my machine to the internet and back and no one's going to be able to decrypt this that's in this VPN and I highly recommend you do that especially if you're going to be doing anything with PII, uh, PII which is your personal uh, identity information uh, in a coffee shop or a public place this basically will allow you to um, you know like I said encrypt your data so you don't have people spying on what you're doing because they can just grab bits out of the air that's wireless and, and get quite a bit of information on you. This will encrypt it. So we'll have a deep dive on PIA in the next series. We'll also be diving into Yubico keys, which is another cool uh, process to where if people know your password, they're not going to get anything because they got to have your key basically to start your car. So look for Yubico uh, keys is a other episode that we'll be doing here pretty soon. And that's really to log into your machine um, or to accounts online and stuff like that. So we got a lot of cool uh, stuff coming in the series, guys. So I sub uh, highly recommend, if you're interested in this, that you subscribe. Uh, that way you'll be notified if you hit the little bell somewhere up here. You'll be notified when we publish the next one. If you like this series, please give it a thumbs up. And again, subscribe to the channel. Feel free to share this as well. And as always, guys, Check the show notes. I'll have links for whatever you saw here. Uh, and I'll also put in a little uh, teaser for the PII, uh, PIA uh, subscription. So if you want to try it out for 30 days, you can. Uh, and if you like it, again, if you just want to wait till my video, I'm going to actually demonstrate this. Because this, what's really cool is this. You can choose anywhere in the world uh, to where you I don't want to act like you're from so you can really change your IP address no one's gonna even know where you're at so I can say I'm in Europe and I get a European IP pretty cool stuff we'll go into that in the next video guys again like this video share it subscribe and thanks for always for watching guys and have a good one